So one of my uh, fellow YouTube No Name 500 guys and also fellow resident of the People's Republic of Canada was trying to help me out with the high RPM lack of power that my car seems to have. And uh, the one question he asked me was on my fuel pressure. So I messed around, did a few things just to check, see what my fuel pressure was doing at wide open throttle, because the only gauge I have is under the hood, right connected to the uh, fuel pressure regulator. So this is what I found out. And this is me, my camera person for the day, my daughter, Emery. Hopefully the shots and everything will look a little better. So what I'm gonna do here is I've got this little uh, 1810PT to dash six fitting that's gonna replace my existing fuel gauge. And I just got a whole bunch of just random crap I had at home here. What I'm trying to do is I'm trying to get the uh, fuel gauge out onto the hood, but I wanna do it in as safe and unburn my car, down, car downy manner as possible. So this is what I got. Um, let's see how it works. So here's my uh, my fuel pressure regulator and I'm just gonna pull off my fuel gate, fuel pressure gauge. When I did my dash, I actually thought about putting an electric fuel pressure gauge inside just because I'm kind of hung up on having lots of instrumentation. But I didn't, and now I guess I'm kind of wishing I had. Now here's my fitting. A lot of people say they don't want to see you use Teflon tape, but especially with these aluminum fittings, I really find they gall up, and they really easily screw up the threads if you don't. So I've never had a problem with it so far, so I'm gonna to continue to do it again. So let's hope this works as good as I think it's gonna. Just put this piece on here. My big thing is I really do not want uh, a fuel leak and the associated fire hazard that comes along with that. So that's why I'm using this expensive hose. Now fortunately I didn't have to buy it, I already had it. But uh, let's see what we can do about sneaking this up and through the, the hood scoop. There. So what I did is I just took a little uh, brass coupling, another one of those 18 NPT to dash six fittings, and I put my gauge on there. So this is going to go on to here. And it'll get taped on somewhere here where I think that I can be able to see the gauge from inside the car. So I guess that's next. Let's see where the best place to to uh, get this thing for visibility is. Because I'm the one that needs to be able to see it, right? Not you. Is it recording? Yeah. Put a piece of wood here. And rip off one more piece, we'll put it a little further back. That's pretty sick, you should put the dick in there too. So now this fine example of uh, what not to do is going to be the way that I get to check my fuel pressure on wide open throttle acceleration going down the road. Now Em and I are going to take a quick trip to Mexico and we're gonna do some uh, safe acceleration trials in a closed environment. Poop, dive by Emery. There we go, I'm just shy of six PSI, as far as that gauge is concerned, at idle. It's idling at 9.50 or so, I guess. And uh, let's give her a good acceleration test and see where, if it drops any or much or whatever. So the gauge reading hasn't moved, we've just gone through town and we're getting out onto, we're doing about 50 miles an hour here and the gauge is still pretty much dead on where it was. I'm pretty confident 
confident that that's going to be where it stays. But let's just head the rest of the way out to Mexico and give her a good roll and see what it does. So it looks like my pressure drops down to about 4.5 PSI when the needle and seat opens up. But it bounces back to around 5 or a little bit better after that. I was expecting a little bit smoother reading. But I, I don't, didn't really know what to expect, I guess, either. So what I did, pumped up the static pressure to about 6.5 PSI. And hopefully that's going to sort this out for me. But uh, if anybody knows what I should be seeing and what I can do about it to make it better, if there's something wrong, please just share in the comments what you might know. So what I see from that is it looks like my pressure is dropping definitely somewhat. It comes down to, it's wiggly, but it's average right around the, the 5 PSI from what I could see. So I'm going to pump it up at idle and cruise to about 6.5. And I am still going to do a jet change because I'm pretty confident that that's going to be needed as well. But uh, if you know more than me and you can tell me what's wrong with that, uh, with that fuel pressure at wide open throttle, throw something in the comments and help me out. So that's it. Going to keep on trying to sort some stuff out. I think I'm going to throw a couple sizes of jet at this carburetor try and get it a little bit more gas, more fuel at the top end. Um, still working on trying to make things better. Thanks for watching.